Take me out for some hot dogs. Well, let's all go all dogging to my old Kentucky home. Yes, that's right. I'm here in Louisville, home of Muhammad Ali, home of Louisville Slugger Company. You know, they make the bats here. Most baseball bats are made here. They've been making them for almost 170 years. I mean, as long as baseball's been around, there's been Louisville Slugger. In fact, it was once a national league team in Louisville. Of course, they went out in 1899, but they have minor league baseball here, minor league tradition in Louisville. And where else can we go but find some place world over? But this place called Red Top Gourmet Hot Dogs. Well, we'll see how good these hot dogs are as we're raw dogging America and raw dogging Kentucky here in Louisville. Red Top Gourmet Hot Dogs, Louisville. And they have a specially made bun. They have an all beef hot dog. It's got a decent charring on it. Bun to dog ratio though is a little askew. Uh, we'll see how the hot dog tastes because that is the ultimate taste test. Got some good grill marks over here. So let's see how the dog tastes. All right, I'm gonna give this hot dog a double. Got a good taste. A little, a little too much bread, if you ask me. But the hot dog is good. It's a, a suitable double. Now, they have, the owner here comes from Michigan. So he likes to bring down his classic Coney Island sauce from Michigan. And it, uh, this is a chili and cheese dog on a pretzel bun. Let's see how this one comes out. The cheese sauce is a little underwhelming to me. The chili. This is a decent chili, but to me, this hot dog is only a single. Now, when you're in Louisville, they have this soda that's been popular for almost 100 years called AL81, a late one. And it's a um, kind of a Sprite before a Sprite. It's kind of like the original Sprite. So we'll see how this AL81 is. I've already tried it before, but. Yeah, it's kind of a ginger ale Sprite combo, LA one. I'm gonna give it an 8.1. It says so right on the bottle. And of course, this one looks good. This is a Wagyu hot dog. You know, uh, the Wagyu beef comes from Japan. I've tried a couple of Wagyu hot dogs before. Nice pretzel bun, bacon wrap, deep fried. This looks delicious. This is a triple. And of course, you gotta always have the side. And this is a nice tater tot. Very crispy looking tater tot. I'll give the top to 7.6. And while you're hitting here wall dogging, there's ping pong tournaments here regularly and old-fashioned video games this is quite the spot here in kentucky you never
never know where Royal Dorgan is going to take you. We are Royal Dorgan on the road. Been on the road nearly two weeks now, and you've seen lots of great places. First time in many different states, and I got many states left to visit, and many more hot dog places to visit. So leave a comment down below where I should go next. Of course, click like and subscribe, and who knows? I might show up and roll dog in your town, and of course, you gotta have your shirt. This way I know that you're following me. Raw dogging, you can buy the shirt at the bar store, and we're gonna have more merch coming soon. So keep your eye out. So this is what it's like being a hot dog connoisseur. You go anywhere and everywhere, and always looking for the greatest dogs. Keep raw dogging. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about, and it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> on the road again. Gee, I can't wait to get on the road again. Going to all dogging places that I've never been. And I can't wait to get on the road again. You don't have to wait for me to get on the road again. You can order this nice new shirt, raw dogging on the road. And when I'm on the road again, you better believe I'll be carrying this shirt with me. You can get it right now at the Barstool store.